<clears throat> this is a, I guess, an apology video or a confession of guilt that I know, I believe that I, over the years, through my uh, multiple channels and thousands of videos, introduced a vein of liberalism into orthodoxy or at least into the orthodox community on YouTube that wasn't there before my videos popped up. The defense of uh, transgendered people, not transgenderism, although I think it, it got to that, but it was because I had no idea what it was, and it was something new that I encountered. My beliefs have change although I wouldn't say they've changed I've grown in knowledge and I do not think uh, I do agree with the uh, the AMA and that it is uh, that gender identity disorder it is a disorder um, although I, I think there is variance I do think you know there are obviously there are hermaphrodites um, again I've never tried to explain it I've just tried to defend the trans, those people who are trans from abuse, but um, there are many who've picked that up and then ran with it and thought, oh no, this is, they're right, and there's all these things, and I've said myself that there's multiple genders, I don't believe that anymore, I think there's two, that there's more than two genders, I should have said, there's only two. Um, uh, there's the confusion in hermaphrodites, but that's due to the fallenness of the world. Um, but uh, because of because I came aware of uh, people who were believe that you know they they truly felt in their true self that they were amputees, so they had you know, their legs amputated or their arm amputated because deep down inside they believe themselves to be you know that this arm didn't actually belong to them and I want to say that I've always been against castration that's always a gun against the church there can never be you know I was uh, even when I was four trans even when I said yeah it's right to you know it's not we shouldn't judge people to do that but that uh yeah go so far until uh, mutilation of the genitalia that that's not allowed that even breast implants and facial reconstruction was fine but that could never as a Christian say that uh, mutilation of the genitalia beyond circumcision you know if you believe that's mutilation of the genitalia, which I guess technically is, you know, but as of castration or cutting off of the penis, that that, that was never allowed. But also a vein of uh, liberalism that goes beyond that. I'll get into that deeper. Right, and this... Uh... This lib uh, I don't know if I should call it liberalism, but it's what, you know, in the United States gets called liberalism, you know, at least. Uh, while I've never been a member of the Republican Party, you know, I've been a card-carrying communist, I've been a Chicago Democrat, and I'm currently socialist might be the best Ca Catholic socialist even though not Roman Catholic um, I've noticed people in Canada Orthodox members of, uh, Orthodox in Canada Orthodox in England Orthodox in Australia Orthodox in New Zealand Orthodox around the world and other countries that make it videos in English um, and even the non-orthodox uh, whether theistic or atheist and they talk about the Republicans 
as if they are bigots and scum and rich and all this kind of stuff. Let me tell you, I've never met uh, a Republican that uh, ever uttered the word faggot or nigger. Never in my life has have met one. Uh, <clears throat> also, I know more gay Republicans than gay Democrats. And of the gay Democrats that I know, um, which surprisingly, well, it's probably because I lived in a notoriously gay neighborhood, or in between two notoriously gay neighborhoods um, in the city for a while. Uh, the majority of gay Democrats that I've known actively talk to, not just old oh, guy who lives, you know, down the hall from me, uh, were conservative Democrats. Uh, <coughs> the, uh, the, but I, I've known Democrats to say, you know, things like nigger and faggot and words like that. Uh, and Republicans. I've known black Republicans, Mexican Republicans, other Hispanic people who are Republicans. Most people in the United States won't say whether they're Democrat or Republican, but Republicans get a lot of shit, especially in the media, not just in the news, but in, uh, the, uh, in every television show you'll ever see. Uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> even though people say television isn't real life, uh, many people don't realize how much the crap that they watch on TV affects their view of the world, right? Um, the, uh, the Republicans that I know, and especially the Tea Party people, who the Tea Party originally wasn't linked to uh, the Republican Party at first. It was its own entity. Uh, again, I've never known anybody critical of Barack Obama because he was black. That was never an issue. Uh, and of the Tea Party people who I've met... Uh, not, and they weren't necessarily Republicans. Again, none of them racist at all. And, uh, not, uh, not 100% white. But, uh, the far right is, or let me put it this way, the swastika wearing neo Nazis are hated by everybody, especially the Republicans, because uh, Republicans were started to end slavery, that they were abolitionists, and for the most part, they don't like these people who might get grouped in with them as being right wing. Uh, on the other hand, go to a college campus and meet feminists who won't be denounced by major Democrats and who are people who call for the mass annihilation of the white race of all white people uh, and don't get denounced. Uh, I've been, I don't want to call them my friends, but I've, you know, been friends with friends of people and sat around and they've talked about how the white need to get wiped out. Nobody but an eyelash. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, where's there more hate? There's definitely more hate that's accepted on the left. Uh, so, I mean, you guys know which way I lean, but, again, it does seem that, uh, what the what the media portrays seems to be the uh, it seems to get parroted by people all over the world, and it's like you should come and live, not New York, not Los Angeles, 
live in central Illinois. Live in uh, Minnesota, North Dakota. Um, and also, you know what? Live downtown Chicago. Live in the heavily Hispanic areas. Live in the heavily black areas. Live in the north side, in the uh, in between Boys Town and Andersonville. That's which is where I lived for a while. Um, I also grew up in the heavily Hispanic area on the west side. But uh, yeah, the misconceptions, and uh, I do feel responsible for introducing. Uh, into the Orthodox users, a form of uh, liberalism that uh, wasn't there before. And this isn't to say that I'm... I'll make a second video explaining. Peace to you.